Hi, in this video we will learn how to create a basic Hello World program and run it on the Apple Watch. First, let's open up Xcode Beta and let's create a new project. It's opening. Click on the Create a New Xcode Project. And from the Applications, choose a Single View Application and click on the Next button. Fill up the product name, we will fill it up as Hello World and leave the language as Swift and device as Universal. We are not using core data right now, so we can skip it. Click on the Next button and specify a location to save the project and click on the Create button. Here we have a blank iPhone application. You can see that there are already three folders in this project. The Hello Watch folder is the one directly associated with the iPhone application. And you can also see that the project is configured to run on the iPhone 6 simulator. Here, this is the active scheme. And if you notice, you can see that there is a panel on the left side as well as the right side of the Xcode window. We call this left side panel as Navigator and the right side panel as Utilities. There is also a panel at the bottom which is hidden right now that's called the debugging panel where you will see the debugging information when debugging your application. The point is to keep in mind that you can use these three buttons at the top right corner to hide and unhide these three panels. Like this and like this and you can see the debugging panel now. So these files inside the hello world folder are the important files that control the view of the application. The point to keep in mind is that the main.storyboard file is directly connected with the view controller.swift file and whatever elements you add to the main.storyboard file will be reflected on the iPhone's view the, or the screen. The view controller.swift has all the business logic and all the methods to handle any action that happens in the view. While building applications, most of the time you will have situations where you have to see the business logic and the view. For this, there is a helpful functionality in Xcode whereby you can open up two files simultaneously. For example, we can open up the main.storyboard on one side and the viewcontroller.swift on the other. To do this, you just have to right click on the middle button at the top right corner of the Xcode window, the, where the, the point where my mouse pointer is right now this this will activate the assistant editor view I just click on the button learning the Xcode interface is very easy but important we'll see most of it real time while dealing with the code let's continue with our mission to make the hello world Apple watch application to do that click on the file And choose the target and choose Apple Watch and click on the app watch kit app and then click the next button notice that you cannot change the product name or the organization identifier it needs to be same as its parent apps product name and organization identifier the language is obviously Swift and we need to uncheck the include notification scene and click on the finish button it, it asks you if you, you want to activate the watch scheme yes you should give and activate the watch scheme only then you'll be able to run the simulator so click on the activate button I'm in the simulator of the Apple watch now you can notice that there are two new folders, the Hello Watch WatchKit extension folder and the Hello Watch WatchKit app. These were added as a part of the Apple Watch project. The Hello Watch WatchKit extension contains all the files that runs on the iPhone application. So it remains in the iPhone and controls the business logic. It doesn't reside on the Apple Watch, whereas the Hello Watch WatchKit app contains the files that actually reside on the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch will contain very few files like the static images and the interface details. Now we can see that I opened 
both files side by side the storyboard and the swift file side by side using the assistant editor and here is the storyboard the interesting thing about the storyboard file is that it doesn't have any code part everything is graphical so this is what you get this is a graphical screen and it gives a real-time representation of the Apple watch screen that's that you're gonna run this is how you if you want to look for a label you just go type here that there's label Oops, there's some typo so let's start start over so in order to build the hello world app all you have to do is drag a label element to the watch screen and change its value to hello world so where do you get the labels from if you notice the right bottom corner of the Xcode window you can see four options click the second one from the right it's called the object library and since I have typed in label in the search bar I can see the label element all you have to do is drag it into the Apple watch screen and here you go now you see the right utility area and you can see all the properties of the label element listed from there you can even change the text and you can see that it reflects right right away on the screen we can also center center this text horizontally or vertically here is how you center horizontally and vertically all right the screen looks pretty much done for a hello world app let's see how it looks in the apple watch simulator all you have to do is to run the app click on the play button at the top it will launch the iphone and apple watch simulator clicking on it and i got a successful build there i have a successful build yep the simulator is starting yahoo here's a hello world app and you can see that the parent app is actually installed on the iPhone but don't bother about it for now we'll be focusing mostly on the Apple Watch side of all applications this is just a start a very good start indeed we have to learn a lot more and I'll explain everything to you in easy to understand steps and video recordings in the coming lectures we will see some of the UI sub elements that will be very useful for developing applications in the future so see you soon. Bye.